Hey guys, it's Jimmy. Today we're going to do an install of the Speed Logic rear shock tower brace. It's a pretty straight install, unless of course you've got a Dodge magnet. So here we go. You can see I pulled all the uh, interior panels out of the back end. Didn't necessarily have to, but I wanted to be able to show you exactly where to cut, and I also wanted to paint them. So killing two birds with one stone. I took some quick measurements on the inside of the car transferred those out to the panels and marked them off. It's really thin plastic so the Dremel had no problem cutting right through it. Remember to save the pieces that you cut out because we're going to use them later. So I just sanded down the edges a little bit, put another coat of black paint on it so you wouldn't see any of the gray poking through and it's ready to put back in the car. Oh also with the cap, make sure you paint that. The install kit came with two spacers, just pop them over top of the studs, put the nuts on them, tighten them down, and that part's pretty much done. Just remember to do the same thing on the other side, you're ready to go. And the last thing you want to do is just put the uh, two nuts on uh, forward mounts and you're done. Two pieces we cut out earlier and painted can be trimmed up and used for caps over the bars. Looks great. Now we just need to cut a notch in the cargo tray. Something to allow it to fit underneath the bar in the front and tuck up against the back seat. And there we have it. Cargo tray is in. Interior panels are back in, all painted black. I am really happy with the way everything turned out. Cargo tray still works like it's supposed to. Only thing left to do now is take this old girl to the grocery store and see if this helps keep her rear end planted to the ground a little better. Hey, hon, come check it out. The new grocery bag bar's in. Did that just for you. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, hit the subscribe button. If you didn't, yeah, hit the button anyway. Thanks.